Hello everyone. Welcome to S2S classes. Today we will be starting with the chapter building with bricks. But before starting, I would request you all to please subscribe to our channel for more videos. So here we start. Brick patterns for Jagriti school. This is the true story of Jagriti school in Murshidabad, West Bengal. When its building was being made, there was a plan to make brick patterns on the floor and walls. Jamal, Kalu and PR were the masons for the brick work. They wanted to get new ideas for the school building. So they took their other friends to see the old tomb of Murshid Kuli Khan. Okay, so this is the old tomb of Murshid Kuli Khan, which you can see in the image. This building has a big floor with about 2000 beautiful brick, brick patterns. These were made by masons long back, about 300 years ago. So, look how the bricks are arranged in these five floor patterns. Okay, so these are five patterns. The number one you can see over here. This is the number two. This is the number three, four, and five. Okay, so which pattern do you like the most? It can be number one, two, three, four, or five. Okay, whatever you like the most, you can write. And have you seen any such patterns anywhere else? Okay, just think about it and discuss with your friends now next which pattern there are a few patterns over here so which pattern is made in a circle okay so over here we have to see which pattern is made in a circle so we can say E and J seem like they are made in a circle in which pattern can you show mirror halves okay so if we want to see the mirror halves and we need to draw the line. So seeing the first one, if we draw a line like this, so we can definitely see the mirror halves. So A is 1. Similarly, if over here we draw a line like this, then B is also 1. In this one also, if a line is drawn, C is also one of it then if we draw a line over here then F is also so in a similar manner you can try drawing a line and see which of them you can uh, which of them you have a uh, show mirror halves now you draw some floor patterns of your own so maybe some floor patterns that you can make you can try making those new floor patterns on your own now how to draw a brick okay so these are two photos of the same brick these two photos in one photo we can see only one face of the brick and in other we can see three faces over here we can see three faces one two and three and over here only one face is visible so how many faces in all does a brick have the answer to this is six is any face a square no no face is a square all faces are rectangle okay draw the smallest face of the brick so this could be the smallest face of a brick so which of these faces are the which of these are the faces of a brick so if we see a brick it is somewhat like this okay so we can see only rectangles are there so this can be one and this can be one face okay so these two are the possible ones and which of these is a drawing of a brick so clearly this one is the drawing of a brick now make a drawing of this box to show three different faces so to draw we can draw it like this 
I'll help you with it okay let this be one side this be the other side here now this be one more side so clearly over here we can see the three faces one two and three now can you make a drawing of a brick which shows four faces of it so no it is not possible to show four faces of the brick in one drawing so we'll move ahead a wall that will not fall so one day Munia and Zainab are playing with bricks and making their walls each makes a different wall so this is the wall made by Zainab and this is the wall made by Munia so Zainab says her wall will not fall easily masons do not put bricks one on top of the other as Munia has done okay so what do you think which of this wall will be stronger okay and then you need to look for walls where you can see different brick patterns okay just think about it and discuss with your elders or maybe if you have some construction workers you can talk to them and for checking your answers you can go on to the S2S app where you will find all the answers to these questions now different wall patterns here are photos of three kinds of brick walls can you see the difference in the way blocks are placed okay now you need to match the photo of each wall with the correct drawing below so if you see the first wall there is one big brick then one small brick then one more big brick and smaller brick which is kind of similar to this one and then when we talk about the second drawing the second drawing has uh, you can see over here every line has one big brick one small brick in the line below also one big brick one small brick one big side so which is similar to this drawing and when you see the last drawing over here one line has all the big bricks only and the other has one the smaller bricks which is similar to this one so these are the three matchings now look through a brick jali the mason who built jagriti school had also made different jali patterns on the walls okay so how many different jali patterns can you see in these photos over here this is one jali pattern then over here this is one okay and then we have in total we can see two types of jali patterns because this one okay this one is different so we have in total three jali patterns four jali patterns so in total we see four jali patterns on the walls now moving ahead this is a drawing of another beautiful jali now color some of the bricks red and make your own jali pattern in the wall given below okay now over here you can see you can paint like this and then you can understand and make certain patterns okay this is up to you and your creativity whichever and whatever pattern you want to try you can try now can you see the window jharokha in this photo of the school okay so this is a window now draw some jharokha patterns on the wall here you can shade it black okay so what you can do is you can shade this black so select a few and then you can shade them in a dark color like this what I am doing for you 
so this will be a jharoka in similar manner you can shade more and more and make a jharoka okay now this jali is from a library building in kerala see how the edges of the bricks is used to make a triangle in the wall okay so over here you can see that the edges of the bricks are used to make a triangle now have you ever seen bricks that look like triangles look at the bricks around the tree in this photo you must have seen bricks arranged in this manner in gardens where you can find them in a triangular shape okay so do you see this arc in this v uh this arc in the window this is also from a school in faizabad okay so now you need to look for other arcs around you and draw them you need to look for arcs which are made around you and you need to draw them and you need to find out one task is for you that how these bricks are triangular and you need to give the answer in the comments section now next have you seen arcs on a bridge whenever you must have seen a bridge you would have seen an arc like this okay so what else have you seen where else have you seen an arc we have see we can see an arc on windows gates etc okay so there are various places where we can see these arcs a special arc so in this photo from orcha see how the arc is made it has a nice name ghungat wali mehrab okay so this arc which you see over here this has a special pattern which is somewhat like this which i am drawing for you so this is known as ghungat wali mehrab this kind of arc okay so isn't the jali of this window beautiful see this window also has a jali it is made of thin bricks so have you ever seen these thin bricks so just look around you and try to find out if there are any thin bricks around you now next we have is jamal and kalu the masons of jagriti school said that their grandfathers used many different kinds of bricks okay some of these bricks are shown in this image so which of these bricks have a curved edge so over here you can see this brick has a curved edge how many faces do you see of the longest brick so this is clearly the longest brick and we can see only one face is there any brick which has more than 6 faces so can you see any brick which is having more than 6 faces over here okay so just observe and give me the answer in the comments section now there is a find out the size of a brick so you need what you need to do is you need to take a brick from your surrounding and you need to measure it how long it is how wide it is and how high it is now suppose this is a brick that you have okay so this will be its length this will be its width and this will be the height okay so just measure these and note down the readings munia wants to make a wall 1 meter long how many bricks will she need to put in a line so 1 meter will be equal to 100 cm okay now you need to find the height of the bricks and then you will have to find out how many bricks are required now bricks and bricks hot and fresh ganesh and sahiba live near a kin where bricks are made can you guess how high is the chimney here you know the chimney is about 50 meters or 15 meters high you need to find out through you can surf on internet or you if you have any kins near you you can go and ask the people over there and you need to find out the height of the chimney now next here we have is 
Ganesh and Sahiba love to look at the pattern of bricks in long lines kept out to dry. They also watch how bricks are made. So here are four pictures from the brick kin. These pictures are jumbled up. Look them carefully and we need to write the order. So clearly the first thing that is done is all the mud is collected. So first we have C. Then that mud is put into molds which is happening in D. Then bricks are made which is happening in B and at last they are put to dry that is A. So how do you think a brick is made out of soil dug from earth? Okay, so this is these are the steps so you can form groups and discuss with each other that how these bricks are made. Now have you seen a brick kin? Did you try to guess the number of bricks kept inside it? Okay, so you can talk about this. So there are many many brick kins in India thousands of them more than 100,000 okay so you must have heard of thousand so 100,000 means this much which is also known as 1 lakh okay so can you try to write it it is written like this okay and ask your friends that have they ever heard of this 1 lakh okay now find out look at these photos and guess how many bricks are carried by this truck okay so just guess a number also find out from a truck driver that how many bricks they can carry in one truck go and try to talk to a truck driver if you are able to and try to find this out now there is some mental math bhajan buys bricks bhajan went to buy bricks the price was given for 1000 bricks. The prices were also different for different types of bricks. Now talking about the old bricks which were rupees 1200 for 1000 bricks. The new bricks from Intapur were rupees 1800 for 1000 bricks. And new bricks from Brikabad were rupees 2000 for 1000 bricks. Now Bhajan decided to buy the new bricks from Brikabad. He bought 3000 bricks. So how many, how much did he pay? So he, he bought the bricks from Brikabad which were 2000 for 1000 bricks. And as he bought 3000 bricks, so we need to multiply 2000 into 3 and we will get the answer which is rupees 6000. Okay. Now, you need to guess what he will pay if he buys 500 old bricks. So you don't have to calculate. You all you have to do this mentally. Okay. So 5,000 uh, 500 old bricks. Now 1,000 old bricks cost rupees 1,200. So 5,000 uh, 500 old bricks will cost half of it, which is rupees 600. Okay, so with this we have come to an end to this chapter if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments section please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you